Hello friends and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England and we are coming at you today with a subscriber requested video on how you can network and install a standalone IP camera or several IP cameras for that matter without an NVR uh, that you can view remotely and play back remotely uh, using a client software browser or phone app. Um, the camera we prefer for that solution is the Dawa N43AB52. This is a four megapixel camera with 2.8 millimeter lens. Okay, it's a good lens. It records at 30 frames per second and it has onboard storage. Okay guys, this has a micro SD slot in which you could put a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. Okay, if you're recording on artificial intelligence, which is people and vehicles, um, you could get 30 days worth of video uh, using that technology with no NVR. And again, you can live view and playback it remotely. This camera also has a built-in mic, okay, so you can listen to audio through it. It's a great camera. We're going to teach you how to install it and view it remotely from A to Z in this video. Let's get into it. All right, I've changed the camera view a bit here so you can see what we're doing. As you can see, we have unboxed the Dawa camera. Um, you will see it has a pigtail, okay? And there are a bunch of connections on the pigtail. What you're concerned about is the PoE Ethernet pigtail, okay? You're going to plug the end of your CAT 5 or 6 cable into that, and you are going to run a wire from that to your PoE switch, okay? And when you plug the camera in, okay, if you've done everything correctly, you will immediately see a green light for power right there, and then there will be a orange light that will flash for data, okay? So you wanna see those two things. You wanna see those flashing lights or you have a problem with the connections you made on your Cat5 cable uh, or the camera. Once you see those dots, the next thing you want to do is plug your switch into your internet source. As you can see, we have our modem here from our internet service provider, okay, Atlantic Broadband. So we're gonna plug that into the uplink port of our PoE switch, okay? And again, you should see lights flash in there. And what we've done now, we've connected this camera through the PoE switch, okay, to the internet. If your PoE switch is not a BBT text switch and it does not have an uplink port, you can use one of these PoE switches as well. Okay, you can hook a non PoE device like a modem to a PoE switch and it will not harm it. Uh, we prefer to have an uplink port and then we can use these ports for other cameras or IP phones. But once you've done that, okay, the camera's online. And now that this is done, we can pull the camera up on our network. Okay, we can activate the camera. We can set up recording parameters. We can go into the network settings and set up our remote viewing and our client software. Okay, so let's switch views to the computer and I'll show you how to do that. All right, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also like the video if it's useful and as always leave comments. So yes, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our Dawa smart pss client software okay if you have not yet downloaded this program from dawa's website there is a link currently going across the top of your screen that will walk you through that process we don't have time in this video to cover downloading the app um, but that video is a useful tool in downloading this app uh, and configuring hardware to it okay once you download it you're going to be able to run the program and you'll be able to use it as a device configuration tool to locate devices on your network, okay? It's very similar to Heek Vision's HIK Connect and IVMS 4500 um, and 4200, uh, but you can do live view and playback from this interface, and you can also search for devices, okay? So to locate this camera that we've just installed, um, we're gonna do an auto search, and this is going to search for any Dawa hardware that is currently on our network. Okay. And as you will see, it found the IP camera at the local IP address of 192 period 168 period 0 period 20. 
The beautiful thing about this particular DAWA camera uh, is it's not DH, it is DHCP, it's not a static IP. A lot of these cameras from Heek Vision, for instance, uh, will come with a default IP address of 192 period 168 period 1 period 64. And to log in the camera to act activate it, um, you have to change the gateway of your computer. And if you're not IT savvy, uh, that is problematic. The same with DAWA. A lot of the old DAWA cameras were at 192 period 168 period 1 period 108. Uh, you'd have to change your gateway if you weren't on that. These new cameras, this one, uh, is shipped in DHCP. So when you plug it into your network, it is going to adapt to your network and give you an IP address that is on your gateway, which will make it easy for you to log into using a browser. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this IP address 192 period 168 period zero period 21. Um, and we are going to log into that using a browser and it will allow us to activate our camera. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, and as you can see, during the activation process, you will have to select your region, your country. I'm in the United States, so I will pick that. Uh, you can pick your language. Ours is English. Hit Next. You're going to have to agree to the software license agreement. Uh, here you can pick your time zone, okay? I'm Eastern Time. Once you do that, you can sync the time to your PC, okay? Once you've done that, you're going to have to create a admin password. This is for your administrative credentials. It does need to be eight digits. Okay, so we'll go ahead and create our admin password. And it will ask you, it will also ask you for a email address, um, which is your recovery password email. This is very important in the event you forget what this password is or uh, where something happens and you need to reset it. Okay. If you don't put an email address here, uh, resetting the password is very problematic. Okay. So you definitely want to put your IP address in there. Um, this is P2P. This is to download the phone app. Okay. You can scan this QR code. You can also go to your app store if you have a iPhone or your Play Store if you have an Android and just type DMSS, okay? And it will pull up Dawa's um, DMSS phone app. Um, and we'll show you in network settings what you have to scan to attach this camera to that, to that app. There's a link going across the top of your screen right now that will walk you through the process of finding this app in your phone app store. Uh, and downloading it to your phone, okay? Yes, we wanted to auto check for updates. We want the most current version of firmware to be running on our hardware. And here we are, it diverts us back to the login screen. So what we're gonna type for username is admin, lowercase a-d-m-i-n, and you will enter the password that you just created, okay, the eight digit password. And once you do that, you're in. Um, what we want to do now is we want to go to settings up here on the top. And you want to click on network. Right here, you'll see network. And when you click on network, towards the bottom, you will see platform access. Okay. We want to make sure this is enabled and this is the QR code that you will scan with your phone, okay, with your phone app, the DMSS phone app from DAWA. You'll scan this QR code and it will import this serial number that I'm going to copy. It will import that to your phone, 
And once it does that, it's going to prompt you for your username and password that you created. And voila, you'll be able to view this camera remotely. Okay. To attach it to the Smart PSS, the client software program uh, for your laptop or PC, all you have to do is highlight and copy this serial number. Okay. And then we're going to go into the DMSS phone app. I'm sorry, the Smart PSS client software. We're going to go back down to devices. We're going to pick add. You can name the device whatever you want. We'll just do demo two. We're going to change where it says method to add from IP to serial number, okay, which is P2P. This is connecting the camera to this software by its serial number. We're going to paste. We're going to right click and pick paste to paste the serial number in that we previously copied from the camera in the network settings. And then once again, we're going to enter our ADMIN, our admin username, and the password, the eight digit password you created. So go ahead and enter that. We'll hit add, and this should add the camera um, to our smart PSS software. It will take a minute for it to turn green and go online, but we should see that happen in a second here. There we go. It's online. Um, an important thing to mention, we did not cover it in the video. These cameras do have the micro SD slot for a micro SD card for onboard storage. Um, there's a video going across the top of your screen. There's a link to a video that will show you how to install that card in this particular camera. And what that allows you to do is store video, okay, to record video without an NVR. All right. And what I'm going to do here, so you'd be able to pull this up on this laptop or computer uh, anywhere in the world at this point. Simple as that. Um, we're going to pull one up here. We have playback. And we can pick demo and we can hit search. And this is how the playback experience would be um, using a micro SD card. You can see tick marks here for motion on the bottom of your screen. If we click one of those, okay, it will play the motion event um, from, from that. Okay. As you can see, someone's leaving. This is what smart motion detection is. It, it will only be triggered for people in vehicles. There you see the lady left the restaurant. She triggered the motion recording. Now it's going to go to the next clip. Okay. Uh, it's very, very cool. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, this is very cost effective. This is uh, modern technology. You can employ these cameras now without a costly NVR. You just put a micro SD card in them. You hook them up to a PoE switch that is plugged into your internet, and it's plug and play, okay? Everything you need is in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.